Another thing you should do when you start your fitness journey, get a Fitbit. Get a Fitbit. They calculate every day. Look at all that sweat. Now I'm about to go work out. So I get a lot of questions about uh, starting a fitness journey, right? How do I start my fitness journey? I always tell people the first step in starting a fitness journey, I'm sorry I keep looking because I'm taking a walk <laughs> through the neighborhood. So I gotta make sure I don't get ran over by a car. Hold on, and there's a car coming up. All right. So I'm always getting a question. See, I'm still sweating. <sighs> so I would get questions on how to start my fitness journey, right? So first step, you gotta make a decision. It comes to making that decision. Saying I'm fed up. I'm fed up with the way my body is, the way my body is responding to normal day activities and routines as far as walking if you stay in apartments you may have to walk up steps or at work walking up the staircase or just taking the trash out however your body's responding if you wind it or anything like that <laughs> it's time for a fitness journey all right so most people want to start their fitness journey after we switch the camera out after some type of um life event some type of trauma some type of health scare right so that's normally when people reach out to uh personal trainers like myself uh, they join gyms or just seek, seek the uh, fitness path or the fitness lifestyle or journey whatever you want to call it so Hopefully, a lot of you won't wait until it gets to that point um, and go ahead and start your journey, man. Make it a lifestyle. It's really easy. It's not hard at all. The body will adapt. You know what I mean? What they say after 21 days of doing something, it becomes a habit. So your body will remind you. it will be like, hey, it's time to work out. <laughs> Let's go do something. Let's get off this sofa. Let's stop bench watching TV shows. All right? So, that's the first step. I know that was a long, that was a long answer. Long answer, but the first step is to make the decision. Second step, look in the mirror. Look in the mirror. Look at yourself. Look at your body. Stop blaming your body. Stop being disgusted with what you see in the mirror or what could be better about your body. Uh, stop judging your body, stop putting the blame on the body. And basically, you gotta forgive your body uh, for the way it's looked, the way it's responding to your thoughts and your perception about it. Um, that's all the body is. It's a reflection of how you think about it, how you feel about it, and how you see it. If you see it in a bad way, it's gonna continue to reveal that to you every time you look at it. So forgive the body. Forgive yourself for not taking care of yourself, for not taking care of the body. And that's step number two, forgiveness. You gotta forgive your body. I had to do the same thing. I had to forgive my body. That's how I came up with the brand and the name Forgive Your Body Fitness. To me, that's the second step. All right, so you've made the decision to start the fitness journey. Hopefully it's not because of some type of health scare or life event. All right. Second step, you forgave your body. Body, I love you, I forgive you, and I ask that you forgive me. Now, you and the body are one. You are in sync with your body. Tell your body in the mirror, you love it, you forgive it, all that good stuff, talk to it. I talk to my body daily. I'm always talking to my body. I don't care 
who sees me, uh, what they think? I always talk to my body. Your body is a living entity, huh? It's created, created a energy. You know what I mean? So you gotta talk. That's where the word self-talk come in. You gotta talk to yourself. Talk to your body. Your body is made up of billions and trillions of cells that are all are life form and energy. So you have to talk to them. And the body will respond. Trust me. Don't that motherfucker. Oh, don't I'm, don't your body respond when it's hungry as hell? That shit go to knocking on your damn stomach at the bottom of your stomach, like, hey, 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 it's trying to eat. Right? So it would do the same thing. I'm sorry, this bee just flew past my head. It would do the same thing when you tell it, hey, I love you. I forgive you. Your body is gonna, you may get chill bumps. That's a good thing. That's confirmation that you are in sync with your body. All right. All right. So that's the first two couple of steps. So I'm gonna go through a whole list. I have a whole list of it. I'll probably shoot another video. If I did that, this video would take forever for me to finish. So step three, take action. We're gonna sum it down. We're gonna summarize, paraphrase, take action. When I say take action, start off working out in the house. If you're afraid of your body and don't wanna to go to the gym, you can hire a personal training with one-on-one -on -one sessions like myself. Um, if you don't wanna be in group sessions, you can do one-on-one. -on -one. Or you can join the gym. All right, join the gym. All right, whatever you do, you gotta remember that your body hasn't had any intense exercises or working out or anything of that nature. So you have to take it easy when you first get in the gym. So what I recommend is when you first starting out your health fitness journey or getting in the gym, right? Take it easy. Get on the treadmill. Start off on the treadmill. I know you're gonna be in the gym, you're gonna see all these people on the equipment working out with nice bodies. And you think, hey, they're doing that machine right there. So if I do that, I can possibly get the body that they have. No, everybody starts off on a similar path. And me being a personal trainer, I recommend, <laughs> so you don't have a heart attack <laughs> when you first start working out, I recommend getting on the treadmill. Uh, work your way up to one hour a day on the treadmill, all right? So what this is gonna do, this is gonna help your cardiovascular endurance. Oh, I did say I wasn't gonna use those technical <laughs> words on my, on my videos. But what it does is, it helps build up stamina. All right, energy uh, with less effort, all right? So you could do the same things that you used to do without getting tired, without breathing heavy. Also, it helps your heart. Um, it heightens your heart rate so your heart can withstand more, be more durable, all right? Also, it's gonna help you burn calories. Now, when you get on the treadmill, um, I don't want you walking at a slow pace. At least if, if it got settings on it, raise it up to like a level three. Um, if you can, if possible, start off with like 2.5 as far as the speed on the treadmill. Work your way up to three. Also, elevate the treadmill. We wanna elevate the treadmill because that's gonna give you a little bit more resistance. Um, so it's going to work your muscles um, a little bit harder, all right? So it's going to put your muscles under tension. Uh, leg muscles, also when the uh, treadmill is elevated, you're going to have to hold on to the handlebars up front, right? So that's going to start to tone up this area, okay? So you're basically getting a full body workout. So there's no need to go get on equipment, okay? And you should do this for like, I say anywhere, I really recommend a month of just wearing that treadmill out to get your body in the habit of exercising, right? So now you got your heart rate up and all that good stuff. Now, maybe you implement or incorporate one day of equipment training or weight training or something like that. Very light and moderate weight, all right? Not too many reps, eight to 10 reps on whatever you do. I recommend doing a tricep. If you don't know what that is, that's three different exercises, working three different um, opposing muscles or a uh, superset. Superset is two exercises. You can start off with the superset, all right? And you maybe do that once a week and 
keep hitting that treadmill every day. And this is how you build your cardiovascular endurance. This is how you tone. And um, that's a good start. That's a starting point. That's a great starting point for a fitness journey. And work your way up to an hour on that treadmill. Every day you get on it. And if you're walking at like a 3.0 or speed level three, um, anywhere from 2.5 to a three, you should be able to burn at least 300 calories in about an hour, hour and 15 minutes. All right. And you can check out a couple of videos of where I have one of my clients. And our goal is to burn 300 calories on a treadmill. And we do the same thing. We did the same thing. We started out treadmill. And then I introduced her to circuits, hit circuits, weights and stuff like that. So that's another FYB tip. Um, I ain't gonna hold you too long because sometimes I do get long winded. We're already at like 10 minutes on this video, but I'm taking a walk, man. See how beautiful it is out here? I'm taking a walk, just worked out, right? Whoop. I just worked out. And now I'm taking a uh, walk around the neighborhood, 1.5 miles, right? Another thing you should do when you start your fitness journey, get a Fitbit, get a Fitbit. It calculates every goddamn thing. Your calories, all that good stuff. Get a Fitbit, your steps, at least 10 to 15,000 steps a day. Part of that will come, come from when you're on the treadmill walking, all right? You'll be surprised how many calories you burn just doing simple exercises like walking and everything. All right, so, <laughs> If you haven't done so, check out my YouTube channel. Um, you can go to YouTube, type in Todrick FYB Fit. You can, if this is IG, you can, uh, the link is in the bio. If, if, if this is Facebook, I'll put the link in the comments. All right, so check it out. I just hit 1K subs, subscribers. If you haven't subscribed to my channel and you want me to continue, keep dropping jewels and gems and health tips and all that man go subscribe to my video because i'm not going to upload my entire videos on ig and facebook anymore that defeats the purpose of trying to get people to subscribe to the channel when they can see the whole video on facebook and ig so i'm just going to start giving snippets um, but if you want true value you got to subscribe to the youtube channel i'm out here working hard to give you guys valuable content to help you become more aware and achieve physical, mental, and spiritual fitness. So help me out. Help me help you. <laughs> that was one of the slogans at one of my jobs I worked for. I can't remember what job it was. But the, but the phrase was, the quote was, help me help you. And I can't help you if you're not helping me. All right? So all I'm asking to you is take a free action. It's free. Go to my... Just go to YouTube and hit the goddamn subscribe button written in red and hit the thumbs up, like the goddamn video. That's it. That's all I ask. I haven't asked you to do anything else. All right. Also, I just launched the online store to get some FYB merchandise. If you believe in me, believe in the brand and what I stand for and what the brand stands for, go grab some merch support. All right. And I'm about to sign off and Remember, a fit body begins with forgiveness. And to forgive your body is to forgive yourself. And I am F-Y-B-Fit. Forgive your body. <laughs>